filled out my census form a couple of weeks ago and you have to put your occupation down and it was fashion designer so you know that's kind of that that's what I am that's what I do the things that always run through my work whether it's kind of black or white and masculine or feminine or good and bad or hard and soft and it's kind of that constant um, search for those two polar opposites to exist within one thing. It's a difficult thing to try and describe how you find inspiration or what you're inspired by. I you know, it's very much about an instinct. I need to kind of feel like it actually means something to me rather than it just being closed. You know, I was very interested in photography and sculpture and kind of art when I was at college and that certainly hasn't something that's waned. It's always kind of linked into my work. If you, as a fashion designer, you do shows but you don't sell, it kind of becomes a bit of a vanity project. You know, that's kind of how I started and that's how it got going, but from kind of a more mature point of view, it, it needs to obviously translate into things that sell and, you know, that's a new challenge for me. The two need each other, you know, business and creativity. It's, it's a weird mix, but you need to have that balance, I think, now, or I need to have that balance now. So I've, I've made my peace with that. <laughs> I suppose collaboration is um, really important. All of the kind of people who I work with, with Matthew, with Katie, with Alex, my makeup artist, and Martin, who does my hair, and Simon Coston, who I work with on my sets for my show. You know, all of those elements need to kind of come together. Doing a catwalk show, it's, it's visible to 300, 400 people who actually see it. Everybody else in the world gets to see the stills of that, whereas with Fashion From, every, anybody can see it on YouTube. It's, it's much more exposing, and apart from the clothes, of course, the, the, one of the main goals is communication, communication of ideas, and it makes our whole process a lot more concise. The way I got into Fashion Film was, you know, Nick Knight, he kind of asked me to do a, a couple of things kind of very early on when I started to show. People don't necessarily really understand yet about how important fashion film is, or actually what they can do with it. You know, Nick always talks about fashion film in relation to when photography first kind of became the medium of the day. Through Nick, um, I met um, Ruth, Ruth Hogben, because um, she was assisting Nick at the time. We decided to kind of really concentrate on what was important and put that into a fashion film. From that we kind of made something that I think even today is kind of quite quite beautiful and it's the kind of moving image that what we intended to show people kind of it's more like showing the inside of my head I suppose. Well I was asked um, to suggest somebody who um, could potentially change the face of fashion. I think there's very few people who um, who really do fashion film well and there's very few people who actually do it full time and Ruth does both. I've always loved photography and felt most comfortable behind a camera. Then film came into my life and I never really thought about it after that. I know I love making films. I know I love um, editing and I love playing around with lighting and I love all the posts. So I don't really know what my role is because sometimes I make films that don't have clothes in them, they're just a naked. I mean, I'm obsessed with women and I'm obsessed with clothes and I love making films. I don't really know what you'd then categorise me as. The way she works and the way she kind of retains so much control over what she does really reminds me of how I work. You know, she's defining her own aesthetic and she, in, in turn she's kind of more or less, in my opinion, defining fashion film as a medium and I think that's a very important position for her to be in. I think with fashion film it's really important that um, your, your music is just as important as your choice of lipstick because every film is so different and these different music, so I listen to new music all the time.
it's going to be interesting to see how Ruth and her work kind of progress and evolve from where it is. She set her level very high already. If I didn't have that drive or ambition, then I wouldn't have written to Nick. I did think about the consequences of him thinking that I was an idiot for even bothering to write to him, but someone's, got, someone's doing it. So I thought, well, I'm gonna. Someone else is out there taking fashion pictures, and I want to as well, why can't I? I have high hopes for Ruth, and I'm sure that uh, we'll be still working together when we're, you know, <laughs> have our little Zimmer frames, I hope. <laughs>